You're back on Asia Prime, and sorry if you talk about Ramadan, it may not feel like it, but it is coming to a close, and time certainly has flown by, right? Right, definitely, Iqbal. And in less than a week, fasting will be over, and it will be time for Idul Fitr celebrations. Our reporter, Ayu Yunia, our Yunia Harsari, is at the residence of the ambassador of Iran in Jakarta, Mohammad Khosh Hekal Azad, to have a little chat with the ambassador to learn how our Iranian friends celebrate Idul Fitr. It's interesting. Let's go to Ayu. Are you, uh, what, it, uh, what was it like, you know, uh, having, uh, you know, you're, you're having iftar over there and tell me uh, what it's like uh, traditions in, for Iranians celebrating Ramadan. Sarah and Iqbal, this afternoon the Embassy of Islamic Republic of Iran has hosted an event that actually promoting their traditions, their culture during Ramadan and how they celebrate Eid. And as well as we're talking much about the Al-Quds International Day that is actually promoting the independence of Palestine and promoting the humanity itself. And uh, same with any other Muslims around the world, uh, the Iranian people use Ramadan to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with many types and many kinds of prayers in Ramadan. And same with Indonesia, the beginning of Ramadan in Iran, use the same method that is Rukyat. Then when the Hillel has seen, the government will publicly and officially announce it to the people when is actually the beginning of the Ramadan. A video presented by us before Iqbal and Sarah, and from that video, we can feel the festive of Ramadan in Iran, uh, not limited to their activities that is revolves around uh, the most and then related to Quran and not limited as well to the culinary or the food itself. We ourselves has the little bit of uh, Iranian taste here in the embassy at the residence of the ambassador of Islamic Republic of Iran that the food from Iran is very delicious and you, Iqbal and Sarah, should have it one day. And without any further ado, we will talk much about the traditions, the uh, culture of uh, Iranian people during Ramadan and how they celebrate it furthermore directly with the ambassador of Islamic Republic of Iran to Indonesia, His Excellency Dr. Muhammad Khus Haikal Azad with me. Now, Assalamualaikum, sir. Sir, um, would you sir. mind elaborating to us uh, some of the main tradition of Iranian people during Ramadan? Sure. Surely, uh, during Ramadan months, because it is very holy month, and we have different uh, traditions in the Islamic Republic of Iran, and based on the philosophy of the Ramadan months, because it is the months of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and also the miracle of the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Quran. So, this uh, month is the month of Allah the Almighty and his, his uh, miracle, which is Al-Quran. So based on that, uh, our people are very focused on the uh, reciting Al-Quran, and the place for that is mosques. So they are cleaning all uh, the mosques and uh, make uh, the carpets, you know, the walls very clean and they gather in the mosque and they have uh, a recitation of Al-Quran and also we have uh, several uh, nights that is uh, we call it Itikaf it that uh, young people old people gather in the mosque and for two or three days they just focus to have a reciting of Al-Quran and also to have uh, different uh, du'a during Ramadan months. We have uh, du'a iftitah and also uh, mujir, uh, joshan kabir, joshan safir. So different uh, du'as and so the atmosphere of this month, it can be, uh, you know, uh, felt in the mosques. Mm -hmm. And also in the society, you can see that uh, they are fasting and they uh, to respect the other citizens and 
they try to, you know, not showing they, they are, if there is some difficulties and they are not fasting, so they show their sympathy to the people and to the milieu of these uh, Ramadan months. Mm. And uh, besides that, you know, when we are going to have iftar or mm -hmm. breakfast, mm -hmm. we have, of course, I know there are traditions that later I will explain. Okay. Uh, one thing I heard before that uh, Iranian people love to have this specific uh, event for the kids who has their first uh, fasting at that year. Would you explain more about that? Yeah, that is the question that even though during Ramadan months, uh, for the uh, kids that they are for the first time uh, fasting, so we, we are encouraging them mm -hmm. because it is a difficult thing, you know, mm -hmm. for in Iran maybe 12 hours is difficult. So we must make the milieu of such a this fasting mm -hmm. calm, soft. Mm -hmm. So we are inviting them, we are giving gift to them, mm -hmm. and also uh, uh, for elections, for, for the first kids that they give votes, mm -hmm. we are promoting oh. and encouraging them, you know, you are for the first time giving your vote mm -hmm. and for political participation also, mm -hmm. we are encouraging, you know, these uh, people that later will be millennials mm -hmm. or, or in new generation okay so it's a kind of education time oh, okay so do you have any specific foods that is long awaited by the Iranian people when or during the Ramadan itself yeah we start with uh, tajil it is you know korma mm -hmm. uh, cheese uh, uh, vegetable tea and bread mm -hmm. after okay. then of course we have uh, zulba mie. Mm -hmm. which is a kind of uh, crown stretch mm -hmm. it is a flower and uh, rose water we have we call it sholeza mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and also we have sholeza which is uh, also uh, rice and uh, a kind of pudding besides that also we have uh, another recipes mm -hmm. the point is that you know because of fasting we must uh, increase the degree of the sugar oh, in the body. Okay. So through these different recipes, mm -hmm. we are going to make the people strong. And after then, of course, uh, the main course surely it will be at Sahur, mm -hmm. in, uh, you know, for midnight. And mm -hmm. uh, this is the traditions that we have it. OK, so um, we are very curious. What is actually uh, it celebrations look like in Iran? Uh, as I said, the philosophy of Ramadan moms, it uh, demonstrates that, you know, we, we, we must to have a connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, Al-Quran, it's, it's miracle. Mm -hmm. So, the atmosphere is referring to these two mm -hmm. things. And I said, we have a lot of activities mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, we start with uh, different du'as, different uh, recitations of Quran in in a new new situation also we have uh, online recitation of Quran mm. <laughs> because of the okay. virtual uh, networks that we have it mm -hmm. so we have it uh, face to face and also online and so the atmosphere is going to be make a very spiritual one mm. and because of that you know it's the best time that uh, we are going to have at the end of the Ramadan month, mm. we have the uh, National International Day of Al Quds. Mm. That you know, Al Quds is referring to the uh, independence and freedom of Palestine. Mm. So, with the situation that the people in this month have, so they re they refer to the human being uh, feelings and they are going to pay attention to the feeling of the people that recently surely you see in the Masjid al-Aqsa, you know, they are killing people and injuring people uh, by the uh, fabricated regime by mm. the name of Israel. Mm. So for commemoration of this uh, Oats Day, mm. International Oats Day, we are going to show that, you know, there is no place in mm. 21st century for 
occupation, mm. no place for terrorism, you know, elites, people, kids are killing by this, uh, you know, regime that mm. is unlawful mm. in the Palestine territories. First of all, without any votes from the people of Palestine, yeah. it was uh, fabricated, this regime, in Palestine territory by mm. British at that time. Mm. After then, you know, it was coming to the situation that we can see, even though you're mentioning of Arabic a peace plan for two-state solution, they are insisting for one-state solution and make the, this question to another area, which is making a, a false, uh, you know, threat. Mm. Especially, you, you, you have heard, mm. say, mm. Iran is a threat in the region. Right. So, through this way that they are going to have a kind of, uh, you know, making a new scenario, mm. that all attentions of the Islamic Ummah will go to one of the members of Islamic Ummah, not mm. go to Palestine. Okay. So it is a scenario, mm. very planned scenario that they are doing, and surely we do hope that uh, through this uh, aim of the one, uh, one uh, or single state solution mm. that they are going mm. to insist, we do hope that Omar Islam will pay attention of such a this atmosphere during Ramadan months to remember after 73 years mm. of struggle by Palestinians, mm. you know, they don't have a state, they have authorities. Mm. And so it needs people of the world a system. Mm. Okay. Uh, so um, you've been a while in Indonesia. Do you see any most uh, differentiations, uh, most interesting differentiations between Indonesia and Iran in celebrating aid? Yeah. Uh, the same Idul Fitri that you have. It is approximately, approximately, mm -hmm. two weeks you're going uh, back to home. Hometown. Hometown. Yes. So the, the same tradition is for no rules, Aiden no rules, mm. or New Year festival that mm. we have 21st of March. Mm -hmm. You know, after them for two weeks, mm -hmm. you are going uh, to go hometown. And, uh, but the tradition is the same. Here you will go for respecting the parents, mm -hmm. older one, mm -hmm. and theirs, and in Iran it's the same. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, this is uh, one very different one, but there is a similarity. May I raise that one? Yeah. The similarity is uh, based on the tradition that you have. For the coming of Ramadan months, mm -hmm. you have a ceremony here by the name of Perkandang. Perkandang. Mm -hmm. Perkendang means to uh, uh, push the trump. Mm. And uh, in Iran, we have uh, this uh, ceremony, we call it Barandan. Mm. Barandan. Barandan means that, you know, to beat the trump mm -hmm. and uh, announcing to the people that mm. Ramadan month is coming. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, it's very interesting that uh, the word is also common word. Mm. I mean, it's pure Persian word. Barhandan, Perkendan. Mm. So the same. It's yeah. a very similar. It's quite the same. Quite out. similar. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, uh, Sir Ambassador, would you have any greetings for Indonesian yes, Muslim okay. from Iranian Muslim? Okay. Uh, thank you very much. On the auspicious occasion of the Ramadan month and Eid al Fitri that is approaching us, Ummat Islam. I would like to express, I would like to ex express my uh, respect and congratulation to the people, noble people of Indonesia, and also special, especially to the to your audience in this regard. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sir Thomas Ambassador, Shani. for having us. Thank you for the attention and time given to Thomas. Metro TV this evening. Thank you. That is all, uh, Sarah and. Iqbal, our conversations with the Ambassador of Islamic Republic of Iran to Indonesia. Back to you. Thank you, Yunia Harsari. That's some important messages delivered from His Excellency. And also, 
are you lucky to have a delicacy of the Iranian culinary there? Yes, because we're still hungry from the fast we just had, right, Iqbal? Yeah. But you uh, also give...